So here's the kit that I ordered off of eBay. It's $140. It's just a livestock scale. It comes with these four load sensors and then the central junction box. You do have to wire it all up yourself and then make the base for it. So for the base, I used quarter inch thick steel plating and then these square tubes on the side. So here I'm just setting the square tubing up on the plate and those clamps weren't quite holding it down. There was a little bit of a bow to the steel. So I ended up using some C clamps to hold it all together. And the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to spot weld the inside corners just to square out all the tubing because the load sensors actually bolt in from the bottom and where they bolt in the bolts go through. I threaded the steel already and so I already have the holes marked. I just wanted to make sure that I drill out the holes in the steel so that the bolts have room to make it through. So here I'm using the drill press and I use a nice step up bit just to make the holes a little bit bigger. And then it ended up, um, I was using a longer step up bit here. So I'm, I switch it out here in a second and uh, go with a shorter one. And I was aiming for 7 sixteenths. I wanted to have a 7 sixteenths hole on each of these. And that's just plenty of room for the bolt to make it through. So I drilled this out. Now I can get back to work here. So I smooth it down just so that I can get a nice flush mounting surface with it. And then I forgot how it lined up. I did mark it ahead of time, but uh, then the marking got rubbed off, I think, by my glove. So clamped it back up. And then a decent amount of welding here, just to make sure. So I'm using the same threads again, just to make sure everything uh, cleans up. And now just welding it all up. So I'm just using a 220 welder, nothing special. I run CO2 just because I go through it a lot less than when I use an argon mix. And it runs a little hotter, but as long as you adjust the settings, it's fine. So this load sensor, the instructions were translated, I think, from Mandarin or Chinese, so they didn't make a ton of sense. So I've already got it wired up, you can see in the bottom left there, and that was uh, with the help of my father-in-law. He uh, did some deep Googling and he found a wiring schematic on some Chinese website. So here I am lining everything up. Now you use these spacers on the bottom, so there's that little bit of an air gap you see where the pads actually go and there's sensors inside. I guess it just uses like the, it looks at the resistance or the, you know, the deflection of the steel or something to get the load rating. I'm not really sure. I kind of looked them over, but I couldn't figure them out. So I'm mounting the uh, little junction box here with a couple of just seven millimeter screws and some U-bolts. Now, because that's gonna raise the, whatever you're weighing, obviously is gonna be sitting, you know, three and a half inches above the ground. So what I'm doing here is I'm using just some two by six boards and I'm screwing them together and I'm making three separate pads. So these three pads are gonna go under the three tires that aren't being weighed at that time. So I'm gonna have to weigh each corner on its own, but if you were to just jack up the car and then, and then lower it down, then the, the car is gonna be at kind of a goofy angle and you're gonna get a weird reading. So this is what made the most sense to me. So now I'll have these three little blocks and then that one scale. So I'm testing the scale here. Everything on it was working good. Um, There's a hidden button that I had to find uh, for the calibration because the instructions are useless. So I'm hopping on it here. You see 172 is within a couple of pounds of my bathroom scale. So that's not bad for a, for a scale that's capable of weighing 5,000 pounds. So here is the pad and I'm gonna set it down next to the scale so you can see the height. The pad's about a half an inch shorter, but I don't think that's going to be much difference when you're weighing a car. So the car I'm weighing here, this is my buddy's uh, Camaro that I'm working on. And this is more out of curiosity. You can see the hood's not on it and, you know, some other bits and pieces of uh, the front uh, inner fender, the, the cooling system's not in it, the gas tank, those types of things. But this is just out of curiosity. So what I'm doing is I'm just swapping out, you know, the, the boards and the scale, and then I'm writing down on a little notepad uh, each weight just so I can get all figured out obviously it's a lot easier with a lift 
the the total weighing time is about five minutes once you have the car on the lift so that's not too bad yeah it's pretty straightforward it's a fun little project and now i'm able to weigh cars all right here's what i came up with uh here's my little diagram of a car i put a little steering wheel so i know where which, which is which, uh, 914, 874, 762, and 710. So the front weighs uh, 1,788 pounds, which represents 55% of the weight, uh, 1,472 in the rear, 45%. So a 55-45 weight balance, that's not bad. 3,260 overall weight, again, not bad. Now this is going to change quite a bit because I don't have a fuel tank in the back we're missing the inner fender up front we're missing uh, the radiator there's no coolant in it right now and the interior is pretty stripped uh, so I'll wait again when it's all done but it's kinda cool to see it work and there you have it